Usually in the church, we have this statement of faith. What do you believe in? And take it even better still, it's called creed or, or confession. Westminster's confession, the creed, the apostolic creed, and all this good stuff, you know. I think it's so much better the statement of faith. So when people say, I don't need creed, but Christ is, it's, you know, I only need Christ. By saying that Christ itself is a, is a creed because Christ has a set of beliefs. Um, so, so what are the good things of uh, creed and what does it do? All right. Okay. Those who are confessional believe that the interpretations of scripture and doctrine understand is that contradict the core teachings of the church doctrinal affirmations cannot be accommodated within a particular church or denomination without compromising its peace, purity, unity, witness, and mission. So that is really important. We cannot tolerate anything that's different from our creed. Creed lays a foundational stone in what we believe as a church, as a Christ, as Christians. So these are the, some of the arguments. For example, Matthew 16, verse 6, Simon Peter said, You are Christ, the Son of the living God. That's a creed. Um, the arguments are number one, to help maintain church unity within churches and denominations. Without creed, you cannot maintain the unity. So creed maintains church unity. It rallies around people to believe in the core doctrines. Number two, to aid in guarding and witnessing to the truth of Scripture. So creed helps in spreading the truth of scripture number three show our candor show our candor to those around next you know to to help in the study of of doctrine so if there's a creed the pastors cannot go wrong the preaching they they go wrong people will know okay because creed is there and, and also if pastor preach something that you don't like or people don't like the creed say so the creed interprets the Holy Scripture. The ultimate authority is not the creed. Okay, guys. The ultimate authority is the creed. Uh, it's the Holy Scripture. It's the Word of God. In Aaron, Word of God. Creed is, 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 a, is a mere in great interpretation of those, of those Holy Scriptures by a group of scholars in the 17, 1600 in Westminster. They are the top-notch scholars and they have refined and they've been been tested is a fantastic legacy that we don't have to reinvent the wheel anymore okay so it gives us candor and also creed has been necessary in church history without creed we cannot move forward only those who don't don't like confessions do so because they disagree with the content of them so we know All right so creed gives you maintain unity creed spreads the truth of scripture creed gives us candor on how we teach the Word of God. Number four, creed has been necessary in church history. Number five, those who don't like creed or confessions, they don't agree with the content anyway.